All right, the Izzet curse is still with us. More mulligans. Uh, opponent's going first. We obviously can't keep this. It's better. Not great still. That's eh, pretty good. Get a one and a two out of this. Okay. Been a two lander. Quitters never win. Welcome back, Scootgar. That time of the month. Time to celebrate the salt and the land starvations that make us all rage. That's right. The m updated emote. Can you guys see it yet? Can you see those legs on the bottom of the card? Does it make it easier? Feel the deep pressure. All right, so this is probably Whisper Agent. I'm not super excited about Whisper Agent right now. I don't have enough land I'm ever going to be able to duplicate with League Guild Mage. So he trades Whisper Agent for League Guild Mage, gets to use his mana. I could just attack with both. And then Sure Strike, I think I'm a little more excited about. It's always Whisper Agent with Blue Black, isn't it? Like, when have we ever not seen one? the green in the picture it's a mountain it's a forest of course that is a forest on its back missing land drop here is pretty unpleasant i did choose to do that with the goblin can you not block the banneret with the wall of mist what all right i think that was a misplay Could be another Whisper Agent. Kind of looks like it, but stuck on lands. Let's try to get value while we can. All right. Yeah, details hard to see for sure. Emotes. Once you know it's there, though, it can never be unseen. Cat challenges our banner at. Oh, God. Where's the locksmith when you need him? We need land. Land first and foremost. We've missed three land drops now. Two land drops, maybe. Still, whatever the fuck this deck is, with black mana, green mana, blue mana, black and green mana. Is it Demir splashing green for generous spray? Oh my god, stop with the predators. We absolutely do not want to see Nightfield Predators right now. Four land. Can you do anything with four land? Yeah, I can double pump my goblin, of course. Or I could lava coil the generous stray. And then pump the uh the goblin. Seems better. I don't like that he's got pauses. So it's the unsummon, I guess. So if he lets me start the mentor trigger, it's going to resolve here. So if he thinks he's going to unsummon and eat the recruit, it's not going to work. At least I don't think so. Unless there's some weird thing with temporary uh, temporary power here. Okay, the guild mage gets bounced, sure. I know it checks again on the resolve, but the resolve, uh, when you put creatures in the graveyard, 
if it still counts as that. Like we did this with the hammer dropper the other day, right? Uh, we killed a 5-2 with instant speed and it still got the mentor trigger off even though it was dead. So I'm not sure what happens when you bounce this guy. Does he count as a 1-1 one, one, or is he still a 3-1? Like I don't know the answer to that. All of his mana is untapped. I can only play one of these anyways. Uses their powers they last existed on the battlefield. See, that's interesting. playing some bizarre tempo game with me sure I mean, we're getting through it's just the walls being a pain hoping at some point to double unexplained disappearance whether or not that actually happens we'll find out meanwhile i'm just getting each of my creatures bounce in turn which sucks we're still stuck on four mana which is useless with this hand We've had two of our mentored creatures now get bounced. That's pretty. Does he really need more lands? I guess he does. He's on six, going up to eight. So it's like lot with giants, and uh, he already had enough mana for Indric. What the fuck costs more mana with this color combination? Lot with giants. The only thing I can think of that's cost that much. Oh, Arboretum Elemental would be the other one. Arboretum Elemental is untargetable by spells, so that would be pretty bad for us. We have another card to play still. What is that card? Another bounce spell? Okay, I don't have two blue mana sources, so I see fresh face recruit and bounce that and get in for damage. Seems fine. Alright, uh, it doesn't matter what order I do it in since uh, he's tapped out. Let's run the Fresh Face Recruit out. Bounce his token. Sure. Get in for damage. Run out the Guild Gate. Okay. Watcher, it's a bit of an issue. I, oh, I can't top deck a land, right? Okay, let's run this out, see what we get. Still win this. It's pretty bad though. Healing for him is not what we want to see. It's only two points of healing. Top deck inescapable, inescapable blaze would be incredible right now. He's gonna have to block the banneret. I guess I'm capture sphering the 
four four. I was hoping it captures here the wall. Oh really? I've got two humans. That sucks. Jesus, I've had three of my creatures bounce this game. Alright, just got a lot closer. So it's Guild Mage in case I draw a spell that's worth duplicating next turn. Plus Capture Sphere of the Foragers. Oh, right. It's happened three times. It's been four single targets. You're, you're correct. Four of my creatures have been bounced. I need to miss for a turn. That is the opposite of missing. That's fucking hitting and getting the perfect card. Okay, we're probably dead now. That's missing. Okay, so I've got to swing with Banneret and Chump. Uh, what's my mana like? I have eight. Two pumps is four. Can play out everything. All right. Do have eight mana. It is two to pump twice and two to play both those. That should be fine. Still have laptop decks. I've already drawn my draw card, so Electromancer has no more value than the first face recruit. Can't currently kill him, he goes to two if he, even if he draws land here. But if I top deck another Sure Strike, which we have, or a Gravetic Punch, or a uh, inescapable blaze, all of those will do it if he just attacks with this. But of course, it is another blocker. Um, Alright, so wind conditions are. Uh, Gravitic Punch still does it. Uh, that's not good enough. Okay, well, I guess we'll lose to Night Veil Predator being uninteractable. Opponent just had too many good answers. Is it the. Uh, Whatever it was, was particularly good for him. So I don't know what fucking colors he's playing. Looks like he's Demir splashing green. We did mulligan that game as well. Which means that we are one card away. One card down in value. Do you guys notice how one card might have changed that game entirely? So. Alright. Um, what else do we have for that deck? It's a lot of bounce cards. I think if we had drawn Sonic Assaults punches it could have been fine i can't think of anything i'd change here maybe enough he's got enough instant speed bounces what was the second bounce he bounced us once with um oh they're both instant speed bounces eh, i still think it's damage i can get into his face i think i'm gonna keep it no punch is a little bit worse versus instant speed bunch it but uh, bounces he hasn't seen us punch yet which is good it means he probably isn't going to be holding it for that that reason but it will interact with our our deck pretty negatively Again, our deck does not have a deep sideboard. This is the downside of drafting uh, as open as we did, which is that we didn't have colors until very, very, very late. Basically the end of the draft, which means we don't have a deep sideboard. Nice. Going first. I'm not going to throw my hand out, but five lands is extraordinarily bad unless we draw one of our guild mages. Or some uh, some jumpstart cards to get advantage of these, out of, to get uh, value out of these lands. A generous bestowal. Thank you, Low Gaming Europe. Cheers, man. 
All right, it's card. It says, keep the faith. It's magic. So it is. So it is. Taking damage. I like it. More damage than we've dealt. Oh, come on. Not generally what you want to have happen to you when you're uh, low on value. You don't want to have your hand picked apart when you're full of fucking lands. Is this the third Demir deck we played in a row? Yes. I got a Lava Coil of Barrier Bones. Yep. Just remove one of my ways to steal the game. It sucks a lot. I think he's just like totally like full on Sultai right now. Hopefully no disdainful stroke. He didn't know about this card, so it's not like he's saving disdainful stroke for that. The last card he saw was the island I just played out. Uh, we definitely don't need land. I'm not sure a banner ad helps me very much either. I guess just another creature that I can attack with. If he doesn't play two creatures or a night veil predator, I can price of fame whatever he he plays out too. So seems okay. What is he considering doing here? Necrotic wound. That'd be the only thing that makes sense for one damage here. But if he was going to do that, why didn't... Oh, because he had no creatures in the graveyard. Oh, unexplained disappearance. Right, of course. Why the two drop? I guess he has an answer for the Watcher. We know about unexplained disappearance, too. There's no reason I should be thinking anything else. So what is he going to do? Selective Snare Goblins this turn. That would be the most annoying thing, I think. Six mana untapped. There it is. Fucking affectionate Indrik again. Card is so annoying. So I can Guild Mage plus Price of Fame. That fits my mana curve. Can Mentor and get him for six. No, I can't. They're not flying. All right. I think we're on the Price of Fame plan. Could let him untap. We've seen him have instant speed uh, interactions, but it's been unexplained disappearance so far. We've seen we, he might be running two of those. The other ones can't target his own creatures at instant speed. Get one more mana, I can clone this. No, it's eight to clone this, even with a discount. It's not six. It's, the casting cost of this is four, plus one is five, plus another three is eight, so I can never clone this.
We'll kill the 4-4. Four four. Um, seems fine. The rationale being that I'd rather have... Uh, I'd rather have the Forgers heal him for two if he manages to pull it out of his graveyard and recast it than the Indrik kill another one of my creatures. Seems fine. Oh man, but now I'm punished, right? Because the punish here is if he, he does run bounce spells. Can Selective Snare do um, his cards? Yep, sure can. Well, let's hope he doesn't have it. Do I jump my butt banner at? I don't think so. Extremely sketchy him having that much mana open. I should get crushing canopy. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I get to choose the target. It's my most expensive, so we'll bounce the. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I'll bounce the guild main. Just less valuable. But uh. Oh wait, this card's that's. I don't think he expected that either. I definitely didn't expect that. I think we were both thinking creatures there. Doesn't untap it, so that doesn't do anything. So he just died. He just died there. No, a double pump. You can pump after combat. Mentoring here in case there's a Whisper Agent, but he's still dead. I mean, he could have another instant here. Looks like he might. Nope. All right. Flying Banneret. Banneret. Yeah, that's permanent, not a... Uh, I totally missed that. I've, I've been surprised by that card so many times, doing weird things, like bouncing like uh, Luminous Bonds or shit. So, all right, game three. All right, what are we doing differently? Keeping all of our options to try to kill him. I think this is fine. Or rather, I don't think we're getting better. I don't know if it's fine or not. Okay. Electromancy reduces the cost of maximized altitude by one colorless mana. That's helpful. Thank you, Pride. That totally shocked him. He was not expecting that. He was expecting my 2-2 to go back. And I actually, I played around that card by casting Maximize Altitude on the, the Goblin. I mean, Goblin was best target there, but I actually had that thought. I'm like, ah, it's like he could bounce my creature in response. I'm like, can't bounce the Goblin though. And then uh, not totally missing the fact that he could have just bounced my Capture Sphere. All right, going first, or going second, four lands. A little bit high, but we have a one and a two. We can play them both, so we'll see. Oh god, is it a full control plan? Everyone's on the full control plan today.
Nice to get advantage out of the Electromancer here. Selective Snare returns both of these to my uh, his hand, unfortunately, to my hand. It's been awkward, I'm unable to play the Degold Gate, but the way that my mana has worked out, I just never has been good to play that yet. Could have a Bounce Spell here. I don't think it changes anything. Question is, do I sure strike now? I don't think so. Might get bounced post pump, which would suck. Yep. He's had that every single game in his opening hand. It's kind of annoying. Could have just done one to be able to replay it. Did leave open mana. Maybe I should have played around that. Don't know. Tap land hurting us there. He seems to be a little mana screwed though. Yeah, still get three damage in, but if I'd taken one damage, I could have replayed the Electromancer and had the Electromancer on the field this turn. If I'd been willing to do one. And he's clearly attempting to waste my mana here. The Banneret's a good mana sink, but, you know, having to use its ability every single turn hasn't been great for us. Mana would have been great to develop either of my bigger threats. I can sure strike through this barrier of bones. It's pretty unexciting. I can just pump to kill the barrier of bones. That seems fine. Let's see what we get here. fucking colors he's playing. It's a lot of green mana sources for blue-black cards. Capture Spear for three seems fine. Starting to get him pretty low. Too bad we didn't draw a land again. A sure strike here would be good enough, I think, to kill him with punch next turn. MVP. This is why I picked them over the Sprite, guys. I like Sprite. I would prefer Sprite in a lot of scenarios, but I don't actually like Sprite all that much in Is It, especially Is It trying to get in chip damage. The Banneret's just like super versatile. Yeah, opponents had very consistent cards for sure. Oh, well, now we know why. So I pump, a sure strike, hit him for four, then the face with punch, or five with the Electromancer if he blocks. I still have maximize altitude, don't lose any creatures, I think that's good enough. I don't get my mentor token, but he's got unsummons and he can target goblins, I think that's good enough. Can't not, I mean, you can't not block. Really? Is that even better? Sure. I think it's the same damage either way, right? He either takes one plus five or he takes uh, two plus four.
Alright. Did I miss lethal? Where's my missing lethal? So I maximize altitude. This guy goes to 5, 6. I cast it again for 7. He was at what? He took, just took 5. Did I miss lethal? No. Okay. Sure strike the unblocked. The banneret for five and put. Oh, yeah, I definitely miss lethal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely miss lethal. Like, easiest lethal of all time, too. Oh, it feels bad. Feels bad. Feels bad. Thanks, chat. It's always good to keep that. Keep that, uh. What is that? The ego down. Keep the humility going. Yep. Could have let the banneret die, for sure. That's probably why I didn't. That makes sense why he blocked that, too, because he's worried about the pump and a sure strike or something. And I just played poorly and probably still going to win the game off of it. Okay. It's awkward. I have a hangover, an excuse. I'm past hangover. I didn't have a very big hangover this morning anyways, and we're, we're way past recovering through that. All right, I mean, he's dead on board to this, right? You guys want a flying banneret kill him? All right. The flying banneret kill. So one mana interaction he could have. He could have Necrotic Strike. Or Necrotic whatever. It's minus two. Could I possibly lose any more heart? I guess I really shouldn't be doing dicking around. I should just kill him, huh? So he's only got one creature in Graveyard. Now he's got two. He could interact either way. Alright, fine. There's the flying banner out that you guys wanted. There he is. He's flying. There you go. It's not a punt. I know there's a better play here, but I told you guys I would give you the flying banneret if I could. And here it is. All right. So we're going to try the punch. We're going to try the punch play. We're going to try the sheer strike play. Try the sheer strike play. I did tell you I'd tell you with the punch. Fine. Okay. Get a banneret. Flying banneret punches him to the face for the win. That was for you, chat. After the punt. After the punt last turn, this turn is just BMing. It's BMing for chat's, chat's amusement and pleasure. All right. Game Thief steals another one.